Lazy Boy Productions. Hey guys, what's up? This is me, Jayco. Um, we're back again with another video, and uh, today I'm gonna be doing a review about the Rad Rover. And um, yeah, it's a pretty nice bike, not gonna lie. Um, I got it in a nice sleek black look. Hey okay, guys, I almost had this bike for around a year now, and um, it's been working pretty well. I mean, it's a really nice one. Ah, oh, there it is. And um, yeah, I mean, everything's pretty comfortable on it, not gonna lie. So the way you turn this thing on, is you come over here, you flick that up like that, and turn it, put it on the on the uh, on the on start right there, and then you want to come up here. Here's a screen you got, and you want to come over here and it says mode. Uh, if it decides to focus in any second now, it might. Here we go. You push that, hold it down. And they'll pop up as you guys can see and then it says right now it's on uh, what do you call it, one speed and you can change that that's your uh, thing that helps you so this would be power this is speed mode then we got power STD <laughs> and then we got uh, like economy so yeah there you guys go so those are the little different things and it also comes with a shifter on it as you can go up to uh, seventh shift and uh, yeah the Rad Rover has many great features, including its seat, as it's very plush, as like it says in the name, and it's just very comfortable having it on. And it also comes with a 48 volt battery, which can hold up to 45 plus miles per charge, which is around an estimate. I usually don't get that much because I, I usually go as fast as I can on it. But here it is. This is the little screen that you get in the display. You also get a seven shift and it's very nice. The Kenda wheels are reflective and they're penetrant proof as right there. That little white line shows the um, shows the reflective uh, white well, color on it, which can help when it comes to nighttime and you need to drive around. The suspension itself is very nice too, as red, red by themselves make it their own self. And it's very nice. As shown here in these videos, you can see that the bike itself does pretty well during terrain types and things like that. Um, this upcoming uh, video clip over, and once once this one's done right here, this one kind of, uh, my camera decided to go all oofy on me. But anyways, guys, it's pretty nice. The, um, speaking about the display too, as I talk about, it comes with everything on it, speedometer, odometer, you can even change it to a trip odometer to see like maybe where you need to go. It has a pedal assist and a uh, watt meter and stuff like that. So yeah guys, I bet you guys are wondering, um, the size of the, the wheels themselves are 4 inch wide and 20 inches uh, in length. They're pretty nice and going back to the display and everything, this is where you can like change the, the modes and stuff. Right here you can turn it on and off. You can also have a light in the background for your display if you're going to be going uh, like at nighttime and stuff like that. So you guys can see right here, right there, boom. and then. Yeah, you push those arrows right there and then you can start up the assist. It comes with a light too, pretty nice light, not gonna lie. I haven't really used it that much because I don't really uh, ride in the dark, but you you see right there, there's a shifter, that's for going up, that's for going down. And then there's also that right there, which is what makes the uh, assist turn on. Oh, peep the truck. And as you guys can see, there you go. So yeah, the brakes themselves are also nice too. They're made by, Tet well, the brake calipers are made by Tetro Aris, or however you say that, MDM 300. All right guys, so I think that's gonna be the end of the video. Um, really, I just gotta say, all around, um, I've had it for almost a year now. Don't have many miles, but I mean, really don't drive around as much as I should. But um, yeah, it's a pretty nice bike. I haven't had any troubles with it so far. Um, the shocks on it work great and the everything with it I mean I love how the display where the display is at you can see exactly where it goes the fastest I've gotten it to is around like 20 21 ish that's because they put a limit on it so they can say in between the law you don't have to like call it an electric motorbike or anything and they can just keep it as a bike but um yeah guys if you enjoyed this video I mean you guys can leave a like I mean that's awesome subscribe is also pretty nice too 
And uh, yeah. Shout out to Rad Bikes for getting the uh, award for the best uh, electric bikes made. That's pretty awesome. Uh, so that's cool. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. All right. Peace out. Whoop, 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 whoop.